I just can't believe we're almost done. It's taken one boat, five scientists, and this pack of modern day pirates a month to map out an area about the size of Las Vegas. It's a solid start for a decade long mission. We mapped out a dozen fjords, influenced by different stages of glacier retreat. Fjords are special places for life, especially where the glaciers meet the sea. By mapping the seafloor, I could pick out the best locations to lower sensors, collect water samples, and to core the seafloor. About 100 CTD profiles later, and about 100 samples later, and about 10 cores, we are now attempting our last core at our last station. Slow it down, Nod. Slow it down. Stop it for a second, I'll push stop him. It. I need to push the ice away, so hold her, have her stop it. Yeah. <sighs> All right, come up slow. No. Very slow. Stop there. All right, Nick, you can stop. We're gonna to drop the, the multi-beam and try to map for, I don't know, an hour or so and get this little section. It's the last day of research in Greenland and um, we're doing repeat samples it's important when trying to understand how glaciers are being affected and, and general climate science in this region to go back throughout the season and get more and more samples so we have been here quite a bit which is good it gives us a strong data set and kind of tells the story of what's happening in this fjord over the summertime and it's just to try to uh, get like a last glimpse of this fjord before we pack it all up and sail back to the United States. There's a couple um, coastal measurements that we'll take that will tell us about what's going on once the glacial meltwater reaches the sea and maybe we'll see more plankton communities and, and things like that near the coast. So that kind of rounds out our work because we've done a lot of work up in the fjords, up near the glaciers or the glacial meltwater outlet locations and then we'll get a little bit of data in the coastal ocean. Why is it happy? Because we're done. Done with what? The science. <laughs> hey! Hey! hey. Come on, man! Oh my god! <laughs> Ow! Oh. Alright. <laughs> All right, to 25 days of successful seafloor mapping, we have officially mapped all of Greenland, every little piece of the Arctic, and it's over. It's done. We go home now. That's good. All right. All right. Yeah. Ocean research Woo. project over. Yeah, somebody lives there. Binoculars. Do you find that? You'll find like random little houses around here, and people just take their little boats into town. It's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, nice, beautiful. I mean, talk about scenery. Like this is like you walk out your front porch and. Um, the iceberg is raining. They're melting because you don't drive a Prius. I was tired of hearing people talk so much, so I made a bet. Who could go the longest without talking? Whoever lost would eat the nastiest thing on the boat. It was a cold can of corned beef hash. Phineas lost the bet, so he had to eat the nasty food. And we all laughed at him. <laughs> You're almost there. You gotta not stop doing it so fast. You gotta do it faster. What? All right, a toast to Christian, the uh, greatest marine technician that has ever graced Marie Tharp. The only one, but he's <laughs> Moving on to bigger and worse boats. Yeah. Christian was an important member of this expedition, and we learned that he had an amazing opportunity to work in a laboratory on a large research vessel called the Sekuliak that operates off of Alaska. And we told him this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, you've got to take it. Steve's uh, taking off on the ferry with Christian here in a couple hours. That's so much shit. No, I gotta leave this behind. Harry Potter in the Chamber of Jack Daniels. That's Brie Larson. Everyone said that's not Brie Larson. Yeah, that's my magazine. Yeah, I told you I had it. Oh, man. Pour some diesel on. He's gonna kick me down the stairs. It's gonna be 300. Someone's gonna kick me down. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. We're going over there with you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were all going to do like a circle. No. Um, I'll wait for you. I'll carry your heavy jacket. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm the otter, the golden retriever. <laughs> We're the best, Steve. Oh, oh, oh. Because of all the different issues we had along the way, having to get hauled out here, hauled out there, this and that, different thing breaking, and we have spending a lot of money just trying to get through those issues. So I want to make sure that my crew can get paid at the end of the expedition. So we had to sell a spot on the return voyage. And George got the spot. And he was with us for the rest of the expedition. I said, I got 30 years on him. He goes, no. I go, yeah. <laughs> I'm 20. Are you? Yeah, sure. right, my ass. And there's that system right there. Yeah, maybe they're right. Yeah, maybe they're right. <laughs>